as soon as COVID started to spread, our team quickly realized that focusing on children and identifying predictors or risk factors was going to be really important. And at that time, we put together a global alliance of 41 pediatric emergency departments in 11 countries that came together to actually study COVID infection in children. What we started doing was trying to identify all children who were tested for COVID in the participating pediatric emergency departments. We then tracked whether their test was positive or negative. We actually got very detailed symptom histories, and then we followed them through their emergency department visits. And if they got hospitalized, what happened during the hospitalization, contacted the families 14 days later to see how their children did. And we actually had the insight to build in a 90-day follow-up. And what we actually found is that risk factors were a little bit different than what we expected initially. We found that adolescents were actually at higher risk of having a severe course than were the really young kids who typically had more milder courses. Other things that we found were that a history of prior episode of pneumonia or having underlying chronic conditions also predispose children to severe courses of disease. At a population level, it's clearly not as debilitating or as devastating an illness as in a 70 or 80 year old. But for the individual child who is sick enough to get pneumonia, be hospitalized, the illness can be quite devastating as well. And so this whole group of kids is really important to understand what the complications of the disease are, what the risk factors are, so that we can guide families and provide information. Because we realize there are a lot of concerns, both around going to school, being exposed to COVID, as well as concerns about the vaccination. And parents are asking really good and important questions. And being able to answer them with evidence and data is really important so that we can provide optimal guidance to parents and keep our kids safe and in school.